What is dementia and what's included under the umbrella of dementia? Okay, so dementia is atypical aging that has a certain profile. So typically dementia happens after we mature, which means we're adults. Not always, because there are also juvenile dementias that can develop mostly due to genetic conditions. However, for adults, what it means is you have abilities and you're losing abilities. Hmm. So it's neurodegeneration. Your nerve cells in your brain are dying or shrinking and dying. And the chemistry changes first and then more. So the definition of dementia, you have to have at least two parts of your brain, two areas functions in your brain that are dying. So they're not just sick. They're not just damaged like after a stroke. Mm -hmm. You actually have to have active cell death going on and it's progressive. So it keeps happening and we currently don't have a way to turn it around and stop it or fix it or keep it from happening. Mm -hmm. So the other thing that's true about it is it's terminal. So we don't have a stop point at it except the person will ultimately, if nothing else causes their death, they would die due to their dementia. But till then, they're alive. Okay. So it really is, it's in the brain. Mm -hmm. And the brain, eventually, do you often see people, uh, you know, obviously, they're slowing down, probably not processing as quickly. Do you see that then affecting their physical limits of what they're able to do? Yeah. So what happens as the disease progresses, depending on the dementia, and there's a whole wide range of them, is it gets to where the skilled abilities are the first abilities that start disappearing. So like the difference between being able to button or unbutton buttons versus just to take your shirt off. Mm. So I lose my skilled sign of abilities first, but one of the most skilled things we do actually is swallow safely. So Uh swallow liquids, swallow food, chew and swallow, breathe, because we have to work breathing into that. We have to fight infections. We have to be able to recognize, the brain has to recognize an intruder and then fight an infection and get rid of it. And so what starts to happen as the disease progresses is I can't fight infections very well. And my brain doesn't even know I have an infection. I can't work against gravity very well because that requires a lot of skill. So falls are very common, injuries from falls. I can't take in your information about what you're saying because I can't take in the skill of language or produce it. Mm -hmm. I can't take care of myself. So you know, the the really important part of dementia is that it will rob me of my independence over time. I mean, it right. does steal my independence. So that means that people around me are going to be confronted with the opportunity mm. to support me in some form or fashion. And the bad news, I may or may not realize I need that level of assistance. So what parts of the brain are typically impaired with dementia? Are there some parts of the brain that are not affected at all typically, or is it just depend person to person? Well, here's the really hard part of this is ultimately dementia will destroy or impact and take at least one third of pretty much your entire brain structure, with the exception of your ability to hear sound. For Hmm. some reason, dementia doesn't tend to affect your ability to hear sound. However, it does keep you from putting the sounds from the two sides together to know where the sound is coming from. Okay. So I can hear sound, but I don't know what's causing it. I don't know why it's happening. I don't know where it's coming from. I can't tell the difference between something really close and something far away. So I don't, I don't know whether I should be interested in what I'm hearing or overwhelmed by it. So it can cause its own set of issues. But I do hear well if I didn't have a hearing problem before my dementia. That's fascinating. I did not know that about dementia. It doesn't affect the hearing. 